Hey, it's Mike Corey of Kick the Grind TV, and do you know what I love? Nuremberg! This city has been called the most German of German cities, and it's overflowing with history, culture, and really, what more do you need? Yeah! Well, yeah, that goes without saying. So, say hello to my guest co-host, Rachel. Let's get this backpacker survival guide started. Let's do it. About 160 kilometers north of Munich, in the German state of Bavaria, you can find this gem of a town. It gets a lot of hype for its Christmas market and gingerbread, for being the birthplace of famous painter Albrecht Dürer, and its sausages, Nuremberger Ross Bratwurst, which by law can only be made in this city. With its old town having an almost complete city wall with accompanying giant multi-towered imperial castle, Nuremberg has all that medieval charm you'd expect from a city that's been around since 1050 AD. When you arrive into Nuremberg, it'll most likely be by train, which will put you right here at HBF or the Hopfenhof. The main train station is just to the south of the old town. We spent most of our time kicking around this part of the city, as there's a lot to see and it's all within walking distance. Just five minutes on foot from the main station, there are two hostels, A and O, and where we stayed, Five Reasons. It has free Wi-Fi, group kitchen, 24-hour front desk, and was bright and clean. It's in a fun part of town too, if you're looking to go up. Or you could stay in Castle. The former stables of Nuremberg's Imperial Castle have been turned into a youth hostel. The crowd is younger and you'll need to buy a membership, but if you're lucky enough to snag a room in one of the towers, you cannot beat this view of the city. Or crashing inside one of the biggest things to see in Nuremberg. The castle is the centerpiece. Well, not really center, as it's found on the most northern part of the old town. Some highlights for us were the deep well the staircase and view in Sinwell Tower, and the beautiful gardens, which are free. While in the old town, be sure to check out the Germanisches National Museum as it has the world's oldest surviving globe, dated back to 1492. Also take a walk along the nearby Konigstrasse to get a slice of the city. <laughs> Cross the river Pignitz and you'll land in the Hochmark, which is a square that hosts a lot of markets and festivals. There is a fountain here called the Beautiful Fountain, and on its gate there are two rings, a gold one for the tourists to spin for good luck, and a black one for the locals to use. Take your pick. Deep beneath the streets of Nuremberg there is 25,000 square meters of beer cellars. Little did people know in the Middle Ages that this fondness of beer would save lives in the future. During the bombings of World War II, 90% of the old town was leveled, and the people fled to these tunnels for safety. The Hausbrauerei Altstadthof runs tours of a part of these rock-cut cellars, and you get to sample some of their craft beer and spirits. Eight Nuremberg sausages, a local specialty we're checking out here at Bratwurst Häusle, this restaurant. Nuremberger Ross Bratwurst are famous in Germany. They are much smaller and more flavorful than your average sausage. They are typically served six or eight on a plate with sauerkraut. On the street, you'll often see them dry im Wegla, which means three on a bun. However, this isn't your normal after-hours street meat. Each sausage must pass a quality assurance inspection. This has been tradition since the 14th century. For the best Bavarian food we found in the city, head to Albrecht Durstube. We grabbed the Schäufele mit Klosse, which is another local just to try, and yeah, it was one of the best meals we had. Just a block or so away is Weisgebergasse, one of the better streets to grab a few extra if you want to. Mara Hari welcomed us with open arms. The place was small, but it was an awesome hangout. Grab the special shot and listen to some good music. So, we've shown you our favorite things in the city of Nuremberg and gave you some good luck from a little gold ring to go with it. Take this backpacker survival guide as a suggestion because there's tons of cool things to see here and we've just shown you a little bit. Thanks for watching. See ya.